to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shaheen. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to uh, look at gold and silver again. We will see what, uh, how far gold and silver has followed our forecast on a longer time frame. And I've also added some of more my re research uh, on gold. And the research is based on some of the ma methods of WD GAN, which are actually based on cyclic analysis. And the research is also based on Elliott wave analysis, which actually indicates how the waves are going to unfold, especially uh, time price wave combinations. So as far as WD GAN theory is concerned, it is based on cyclic behavior. It believes uh, WD GAN was a huge believer of history repeating itself. And then he figured out some of the rules um, that he used to uh, indicate the uh, future cycles based on the past history. That's simply the, what uh, what he believed is that whatever has happened before uh, will happen again. So he saw a huge, huge uh, cycle. Then he saw the prices uh, falling through that cycle. I've done a similar research. is uh, definitely uh, not going to be as uh, accurate as W. D. Gann himself, especially on a smaller time frame. Um, but uh, on a larger time frame, I am expecting that gold is going to crash. Um, and from the top it's going to exp crash about 40 percent so we'll it, we'll discuss about that some of the dates that are uh, here as well we'll look into it so in today's video we are going to look at gold and silver I want to mention a couple of uh, indicator points right over here and uh, a thing or two will be a bit of surprising for you first of all we are expecting a temporary bottom to be formed uh, in uh, on uh, so around 19th of February 2024 so the important word here is around so there's an approximation that comes with WDN methods especially the longer term forecast so I'm expecting that there is expected to be a smaller time frame um, bottom by smaller time frame is uh, I mean a weekly time frame and then a rally is expected uh, that top is expected to come around uh, around 11th of March 2024 after that, there is that the pointer is very um, confusing for someone who hasn't seen WD GAN's forecast before, and it says a top or bottom is expected around 27th May 2024. This one right over here. If this does not happen on this one on 27 20, uh, 27th of May 2024 around that date, that that means a peak is expected around that day. So a unique phenomenon that WD GAN noted. Uh, and this is is a reflection of that behavior so either a top or either a bottom or a top is expected around the same date uh, if you don't see a bottom then we are expected to see a, a top forming um, but that gives us some behavior of how the prices are expected to go and then um, a bottom a final bottom is expected to a major bottom is expected to be happening in gold and silver around august 2024 so we are just few months away, I would say about seven months away from bottom being created. Uh, once you have seen these dates, we can actually come back at the Elliott Wave analysis. <coughs> Pardon me. So the Elliott Wave analysis is clearly that one from the top to bottom. Uh, I guess that we are going to follow uh, a five wave structure from believe that a uh, wave one and two are complete and we are going to go through the longer wave third right over here and the pullback is expected in wave four and then a final pushback is expected in wave five this pattern itself is on solely uh, based on Elliott wave analysis the important point right over here is that this bottom that we are expecting in uh, August 2024 is about 40 percent drop in the price of gold right from the top which is massive massive move just within uh, seven to eight months of uh, top happening especially if you're looking at the previous behavior then we have seen we have seen a lot of uh, price containing in the same territory and I believe that this is the time and that we are going to see the prices go through all the way down right over here uh, I will come and look at a smaller time frame analysis as well now so let's have a go and, and look at uh, four hourly time frame and after that we'll also try to look at a smaller time frame in one of my previous forecasts, I was expecting for this behavior to continue on and see a double top right over here. However, we did see prices to jump up. However, the prices did not make all the way over here. Now, right around this area, when the price is reflected back from the top right over here, I gave a very important reading on the chart itself 
just on the price behavior and the price behavior is simple if you go back on a daily time frame we can simply look at these t three tops one so this one this one and this one right over they're very very important tops so we can bring the this line right over here and then you'll see an amazing uh, behavior happening around this line so we can see that the price is after creating a bottom right over here which is fire away from the bottom right over here so prices did go deeply right over here giving us an impression it's going to go all the way down and I myself got dodged when prices jumped up over here from I wasn't expecting this much jump however the jump was pretty interesting when prices did go right over here it, they were clearly refused to stay in that region which is just above the previous three tops giving us an indication that bulls are unable to keep the prices in this range when prices came below after that we can see that the swing was quite a bit as compared to uh, whether especially after creating a new high beyond these tops so we can clearly see that bulls are not in control anymore we did see a price being jumping up back again to the same price level uh, let me s so right over here we did see the prices jump up over here finding the support right on the same price level the very very solid indication that we have seen a top right over here so price drop a refusal of the price over here came down giving an indication a strong bearish mood and then prices jump up again finding a support another is going to gather a lot of sellers right over here especially after the recent price action the prices did not go over here as far as Elliott wave analysis is concerned the pattern was clearly indicating that we are going to see a W and X and a Y however the prices did not go and create a double top with this one even more bearish price section is indicating from that behavior right now on a smaller time frame let's have a look on a on hourly time frame and see uh, where the prices have gone from there so we have seen almost like sixty dollar drop from over here after uh, the pricing after after the prices failed to create a double top with W X and Y the one that I was forecasting right over here and then prices have come down massively we have about sixty dollar drop prices jumped up again an interesting part about this is that it's almost like fifty percent a drop I think it is around five by eight or maybe four by eight so five by eight so um, if you're new to the channel I tend to use uh, equal proportions of the price these are basically eight equal divisions of the previous price was and when prices jumped up again we have seen that five by eight uh, is giving the support of the price of the total drop uh, of the price so we have seen initial um, a very good support level for gold and I believe that from right from over here the price will continue dropping further down so I'm bearish on gold on a large time frame on a smaller time frame as well before we continue on further I would like to point out to a very important uh, pattern that I have seen before and I would like to point you towards that in uh, and it, it might help you uh, especially trading with the how gold and silver are going to behave in a smaller time frame that means hourly to four hourly time frame while we are clearly bearish on a larger time frame especially if you are a retail trader and you wanna if you wanna trade um, how this should be traded uh, this uh, for that we have to go back on the historic chart and we have to see some of the analysis that was done before stay with me I wanna let's have a look on our daily time frame that will bring us closer okay so this is a very important um, bottom that was created it was a higher bottom as compared to the previous bottom right over here and then the interesting part right is right over here starting from this bottom the prices went on and create a nice uh, jump upward it does not look very strong on a um, on a smaller time frame if you look at on a daily time frame though uh, let's have a look on two hourly time frame oh I'll have to mess anyway you can go back on the chart I'm indicating towards that pattern this pattern starting from this uh, drop right over here you can see the price went up came back again and then went up again and then came back again and then it had a quite uh, a longer move and then correction and then went up again and then correction and went up again so similar kind of behavior is expected we have also a similar move on this side as well alright so you can look at this price movement and then you can look at how the price got moved you can see initial drop pull back initial another drop pull back another drop pull back and a similar behavior in a price is expect uh, is expected 
so if you want to trade on a smaller time frame you can do so by looking at those patterns and by going back to the four hourly time frame and then you can trade that I'm clearly bearish and you can use these dates you can put them on your chart and you can uh, draw the exact uh, dates when the the possible top and bottom is expected um, it's, it's going to be nowhere in the chart if you delete um, if you delete the WD GAN analysis uh, then nowhere in the chart is indicating that the price is going to be so bearish alright look at this and if you are interested you say how come he's so bearish on the chart and in a smaller time frame so I would like to point you in a direction um, I think uh, we have seen a similar behavior in which which a lot longer move was made if you see at this top and this bottom uh, the move was made from eight to nine months a major major move uh, and if you also look at the previous moves right over here that happened uh, major major moves in a smaller time frame um, as compared to the the longer time frame uh, like 10 to 12 years you'll see that within one approximately a year so gold moves so sharply nobody can move nobody can believe it that it did uh, so we have in, in the sideways behavior quite a bit I'm expecting that we have created the top our um, traditional technical analysis is also indicating that bulls have refused uh, to carry on their the trade upwards uh, we have seen the support uh, coming back and then we have seen the bearish price action which is not as strong as would one would expect but once again uh, in order to find the reason you have to look at the this these two bottoms right over here so this bottom prices spend a lot of time when the correction went up spent a lot of time in the correction and then we have seen a kind of the uh, uh, steps kind of uh, pattern in which we will see just a low and a clear high and a lower a higher low and then when high and a, and a higher low and then even higher high so this behavior is expected to go in this range as well uh, I hope to provide the uh, the running commentary as soon as the dates becomes more clearer um, I hope to provide some of the analysis when prices go further down and we'll get more clarification as soon as more we look into the data however the important point is in August 2024 uh, we are going to see a bottom being created a major major opportunity for uh, retail traders for investors to go long in gold and silver so uh, this will be a bottom that will be held up for years to come I would say easily a decade alright so this bottom once um, prices reach up over here this bottom will be held for easily 10 years approximately I would say so um, and this would also complete a larger structure that actually started from over here so correction that last last around about uh, approximately 13 years right from the stop uh, would be a very very uh, important point right over here So 13 year pattern would be completing and that would bring a lot of bulls together and right at the beginning of the, uh, the mm, uh, this bearish uh, correction and uh, the retail investors were going mad thinking that gold will go to 5000 it would definitely go to 5000 but after completing the pattern uh, let's have a look at uh, uh, silver now and silver is uh, running through a very very important uh, pattern let me actually save the chart first I want to see if I've missed anything okay this chart is now saved so silver is running through a very very important pattern uh, we will discuss a lot of Elliott wave analysis in silver uh, we are seeing beautiful patterns which are not easily recognizable uh, to untrained eye and you have to spend a lot of time in, in uh, and stretch your imagination and thinking what's going to happen right from the top back in 2011 uh, I mean 2011 uh, we are seeing a double zigzag pattern uh, a clear 535 pattern not a double zigzag but a clear 53 pair 5 pattern this is wave A a 5 wave structure a 3 wave structure right at the top and then we are expecting a 5 wave structure toward the bottom this 5 wave structure is expected to be an ending diagonal and especially a diverging ending diagonal ending diagonal not a converging di ending diagonal so this is how I'm going through it the pattern is absolutely messy uh, and you don't get to realize till the pattern ends that this is how it uh, it was labeled 
So pretty interesting price action. I'm expecting for uh, as far as price target, I fail to give the price target for gold. I'm expecting gold to go around 1270 at the bottom. So gold expected to create a bottom around $1,270 US uh, per ounce in August, around August I would say, in the month of August I would say 2024. Silver is expected to create a lower low as compared to the previous low which is right this one and this one and we are expecting silver to be completing a low somewhere around $9.65.70. So around 10 dollars we are expecting to create a, uh, a bottom. Uh, silver has again a similar amount of time left approximately uh, around mm, August of 2024 we are expected to see a bottom uh, somewhere around ten dollars um, ten dollars per ounce again uh, the labeling most of the labeling is Elliott wave analysis the time is, uh, comes from history repeating itself and especially the cyclic behavior of the stock market the cyclic behavior of human nature uh, and the cyclic behavior of uh, in general nature uh, around us so WD can believed it he did a lot of research in towards that and I believe the same uh, following his studies as well that uh, we are going to see cyclic behavior being uh, the one of the most accurate uh, measurements of where exactly the price uh, would go this is expected to create uh, an important indication towards uh, uh, human society that where the society is going in general as well so in in this uh, pattern we have completed wave one right over here and wave two right over here wave three is complete and wave four is complete right over here and we're expecting that we are going to see a double zigzag or a single zigzag within wave five structure just starting from this top so I'll go and uh, go on on a daily time frame and then we look at some of the price behavior when gold, uh, when silver is making a sharp move right over here, right at the top, I indicated that the silver is bearish, it's not bullish, even after the strong move right over here. And here is some of the labeling in front of you. We can simply consider this as wave A structure, a wave B structure, which is very messy, a double three structure, and then you can say that a five wave structure is expected downward. However, we can also label this as a three uh, wave A, B, and C structure, which is wave W. And this becomes X and either 5, 3, 5 structure is also possible. For now, I'm going through with like A, B, and C structure, a 5, 3, 5 structure. The first leg is very small and the larger leg, the later leg is expected to be quite strong on the bearish side. Let's have a look on a 4 hourly time frame and then this will become, uh, bring quite an interesting analysis. When the silver was trading right over here, I was expecting for the silver to complete an A, a B, and a C pattern. However, we can see that instead, silver has completed a smaller time frame correction right over here instead of completing the larger pattern. So definitely, it did not go through. Um, does that mean the larger time frame? The larger time frame analysis is more accurate than we are clearly looking towards the bearish price action. So right now we can see that the top has created has been created right over here. A lower top has been created, and then an even a lower top has been created. Now, if you look at these two tops, this one and this one, they are followed. They were actually preceded by two bottoms right over here. So we can actually look at this bottom, uh, this top especially. The price came down, went up, came down, and this one is more likely. This lower low is indicating that we have kind of completed a top either over here or over here giving us an indication that we can right now consider this as a corrective pattern all right if you look at this pattern this is following right after the whole the impulsive behave wave so impulsive wave correction impulsive wave correction i'm expecting right now that we are going to see more bearish action in days to come all right so once again the longer time frame analysis stays same we are bearish on gold and silver and you can once again look at lower lows and lower highs pattern to trade the whole market on down uh, once we we do see a bottom coming in gold we are expected to see a bottom coming in silver around the same date wish you good luck with your trading i hope that was of, of uh, any help keep in mind the month of August we are expected to create a major major bottom and that bottom is expected to hold for years to come very very important bearish market is just in the beginning 
and we can enjoy the bearish on the on the bearish side with the um, with the point in mind that the bearish side is not going to remain for years this is hardly for seven to eight months a bottom is expected in August of 2024 and right after that we will be at the initial stages of the bullish run that the retail industry has been waiting for gold and silver so wish you good luck with your trading once again have a good one and bye bye